This is Ira Plato, and you're listening to NPR's Science Friday. Joining us today by phone from his office in Pasadena, California, is Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Oh, this is going to be a Wyatt. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today, Dr. Cooper. My pleasure, Ira. Now, let's talk about magnetic monopoles. Can you explain to our audience just what a monopole is? Of course. First, consider an ordinary magnet, which has, as even the most uneducated in your audience must know, two poles. <clears throat> uh, north and south pole. If you cut that in half, you have two smaller magnets, each with its own north and south pole. Uh, Dr. Cooper, I think there might be something wrong with our connection. Uh, no, I hear you fine. <laughs> I was saying, an ordinary magnet has two poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole is that it has only one pole, hence monopole. A requirement for string theory, or hemp theory, if you will, is the existence of monopoles. I might sell that expedition to the Arctic Circle in search of said particles. Cricky, I found the nozzle. I'm going to kill you. 